ladies and gentlemen, take a look at Bubba. Bubba, this happened the day that, you know, they had the rally um, almost a week ago yesterday. Well, exactly a week ago yesterday. Today is Sunday, the 21st. Yesterday was the 20th, seven days before that. 20 minus 7 on the 13th, Saturday, just like the 7th of October, on a Saturday, they had an attempt on somebody's life, okay, an attempt, and it was amazing. So right as that incident was happening, I did a video later that evening, and the video I did showed these footages that I got. And I, I don't play the audio. Don't play the audio of the shooting or anything like that. Because you know how YouTube is. They they want to talk about fake news, not breaking news. Fake news. And so I talk about everything that was going to happen afterwards. I've been debating as to whether I put this up. Because, you know, I'm kind of straightforward in what I say. So I'm going to let y'all take a listen. And y'all tell me what y'all think. As to, oh, and I will tell you. Secret Service, I didn't know that was a Secret Service up in all black, okay? But they were there. Secret Service up there, scoping everybody, looking at everybody through their little scopes. And they saw the man. You can see they spotted him, and they don't shoot. Ain't it interesting? There's an officer who said he climbed up there, and the guy pointed his gun at him, and the officer slipped off the roof, fell backwards. That's a lie. I mean, uh, that, that's that's what he said. And the only problem with that story is, how come no other officers came? If he thinks somebody's on the roof, how come there were no other officers there? Because that's definitely not the way things work. Mm-hmm. So, I was uh, incorrect because I didn't know the whole scene. But I do later correct it at the end and realize it is the Secret Service up there and that they are supposedly firing at the guy. The only problem is, yeah, this doesn't add up. Something, something just ain't right. Okay, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys to figure it out. All right, hey, got to go. Take care of yourselves. Riva Dirty. Actors are wanted. I mean, it, it, it's good pay. It's got benefits. And, and you don't have to have much skill. All you have to do is be willing to put yourself out in the open. I mean, I, we're, we're not going to play that video, okay? I just want y'all to see something, okay? Because I talked to Keith Sweat, and he agrees that something, something, something just ain't right, okay? Some, some, something just ain't right. Now, hold, hold on now. Let's do some examinations. We're not going to watch the video, so ain't nobody going to be firing no guns. But tripod, bag, black cap, tripod, gun, secret service agents. Interesting, ain't it? But what's this right here? Who's this with the microphone? The, what's he doing pointing that way? Huh? Some... Uh, my bad. I, I just uh, hold on. Uh, uh, let's go talk to Bubba. Y'all know Bubba, don't you? Yeah, Bubba. He look, look, Spike Lee. Bubba, right here. Red hat, red ha hair. Bubba. He saw everything. He saw everything. He's graphic. We definitely ain't gonna play play him. Cause who is he graphic? Okay, he just he just wants to talk about everything. Now look. Ladies and gentlemen, that shows you don't need a lot of skills to be an actor, to to play a role, okay? You just need to be willing. So all you got to do is apply, okay? 1-800-86-TRUMP. Just dial 1-800-86-TRUMP and you can be a member. Lord have mercy. Okay, let's be for real. I'm sorry if people did get hurt, but I'm going to tell it to you like it is, and I don't care um, if some people don't like the subject matter. Let's be real.
he goes up there. There is secret service agents everywhere. How does he get a rifle into that area and gets on top of a building without the secret service knowing about it? No, 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 hold on. A uh, little child, little 15 year old child can call the White House and threaten somebody, and they at his house in less than 10 seconds of him dialing that number. But this guy's able to climb on top of a roof. Pay attention. So he takes the time to walk to the building, climb up on the roof, then he starts unpacking things. Now, hold on now. He sets up the tripod. Now, he ain't Russian. You can see that he is American. I'm kidding. But he takes the time to set up the tripod. Both of them. Takes the time to put the gun on top of the tripod. Takes the time to sit there and aim. Now, he ain't in no rush because when you watch the video, you'll see that he wasn't in a rush. I mean, it was moments. In time before he allegedly fired a single shot. Whew. There are too many cameras, people. There are too many cell phones. It don't work like that anymore. In the 1960s, yeah, they could sit up there and say something happened that didn't happen and people would believe it. We ain't in the 60s no more, y'all. Everybody got a camera. Everybody's got a camera. So now, the news cycle. Everybody, that's all they're going to talk about is that incident. It's all they're going to talk about. It's going to overshadow the so-called presidential debate. I believe there was supposed to be one this week or something like that. It's going to overshadow that. Democrats are going to cry. <laughs> oh, they're going to cry. They're going to cry a river. Justin Timberlake going to be there. And what they're going to do? They're going to get rid of that Biden character. See, Congress should have, pay attention, Congress should have sat up there and called the competency of the president into question long ago. He's getting older. He, There's nothing wrong with Biden. Biden is, I guess he's an all right person. I don't know the man. When you get older, sorry, you do tend to forget things. Sorry, it's just the way it is. It's with all the stuff they put in our environment. But it just happens with age, people. So it ain't his fault. But normally, if there was an issue, and we have a <clears throat> Republican House, how come they haven't did that, uh, what is it, Amendment 26 hearing? The 26th Amendment. Y'all know that hearing that they have when they think a president is unfit? They did it to Clinton. They did it to several other ones. How come they didn't do it in this case? Well, that would have meant Kamala. Kamala. Kamala would have been president. First. <laughs> oh, God, that would have been interesting. Female black president. Kamala. Ka I mean, Kamala. That would be interesting. Whew. So here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Just when they brought Bush in and they did all of the dumb things they did, you see, all they did was promise somebody that family members would be okay, that they would be protected, and that, you know, they won't have nothing to worry about, just stay out of the way. That's all they do. And so you're going to put the, the orange balloon in the White House, and then he's going to start doing all kinds of stupid things, just like Bush did. And trust me, Bush didn't want to do many of the things that he was doing. You know Dick Cheney and everybody else was controlling him. You know he wasn't making those decisions. He was just along for the ride. Look, I get to be president. He was just along for the ride. Trump? Don't know what his angle is, but he said make America great again. What did he do for America? Oh, he brought down inflation and he, did, he didn't bring down nothing. He gave the largest tax cut in the history of the nation. And you guys thought that that brought down inflation. He gave the rich a tax cut, people. He didn't do anything for the small people. No, Obama, the same thing. Obama did not help a single person of color 
Why? Because if he had, they would have said he did it because it was a racial thing. So, it's a catch-22 all the way around because y'all think that y'all get to <laughs> choose the president. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all don't get to choose the president. They choose the president. They tell y'all who is and who is not president. Watch. This is all a... Um, <sighs> Action? I'm sorry. Uh, hey, hey, quiet on the set. All right, let's roll that again. The sun was in his eyes. Who who told y'all to put the sun there? No, have the sun move over to the other side the next time we shoot this scene. There y'all sit up here and let the sun be in the man's eyes. How can he? Never mind. Lord have mercy. And they did it right in front of everybody. And nobody saw the strings. Wait, hold on. Let's see if we can go and break some of this news. Bubba. The shirt has mountains and trees. The hair has mountains and trees. He's wearing a red hat to match the red screen. Hold on. Let me turn off his mic. Let's see his animation. Now, mind you, he could be legitimate, but hold on. Out of all the people who were in the crowd, they pulled him out. Now, they probably pulled out others, but they chose to use his footage. Why is that? Because of the image it portrays. Now, what he's explaining is that they were yelling and telling the Secret Service <laughs> it's the guy with a gun. And the Secret Service said they were looking at, through their binoculars at him and didn't do anything. Now, why would the Secret Service not do anything? Go ahead, listen to the interview. This is the this is a BBC interview. See where it says? That's the breaking news BBC. Trump injured after shooting at a rally. So, go ahead. Everybody's talking about it. You'll pull this one and go ahead and listen Okay, now, I want y'all to pay attention to what's going on here. He's going into the car, not really doing anything. But, it's you know, it's an active crime scene. Active crime scene. His lights are still on. Traffic is still moving. No problem. I would have suspected more police cars. I would have suspected state police, FBI, Secret Service, I would have expected they would have been cordoning everything off. They would have been doing an investigation. They would have been trying to figure out how he got there with a gun. And then he advertised the whatever can he just had. Just put it right up on the screen so everybody can see. Wait, hold on. Let's see if we can show that again. Hold on. See what I'm saying? Hold on. Let's get that advertisement going. There you go. Let's get the advertisement. I'm not joking. Let's get the advertisement going. You you don't believe me? See? Look at how he's holding the can. Look at how he's holding Trump's face. Let's get the advertisement going. Ta-da. I thought he was supposed to be sentenced. Supreme Court did not give him a free ride on the sentencing but this did watch and see we won't be making that hearing they're gonna have to postpone it for a couple of months probably to september watch and see Ooh -wee, this is gonna get interesting huh then there's gonna be another court stepping in and saying no it's too close to the election it will disrupt the american election it will look bad to all the other countries don't take my word for it. Just come back and watch this video when the time comes. Okay? I want you to see how he's holding the can, people. If he was really trying to demonstrate, he wouldn't have had the face this way. Look, I just picked that up as I was talking to you. I don't like advertisement. I, I see it all the time in shows and everything. This right here 
is a wonderful scene. There's nobody around. There's no people around. I mean, if there are other people, they're way in the distance where you can't see them. Cars were driving by, but nobody coming anywhere near these guys. This is supposed to be a chaotic scene. The first thing I said, and I, I really did say this when I first saw it, if there is an active shooter, you guys have seen all the places where there were active shooters and the people running in panic, people running in panic. Well, go back and look. Nobody ran. At least nobody where the gunshots were. Go ahead. I dare you because I saw it. I haven't even seen it no more than once. But I guarantee you I saw it. And the fact that nobody ran. Oh, and then at the end. He sticks his head up. Somebody is trying to kill him, supposedly, and he sticks his head up. I would really love to show you guys that, but YouTube doesn't like it when I show you guys videos, so I'll just show you still shots. Okay? That's why there's no audio. Let me make sure you guys understand something. He sticks his head up. Go back and watch the video. Notice how none now these agents are supposed to protect him. You guys seen all the movies about the Secret Service, how they tell the president what to do. The president doesn't have any rights. Well, the vice president and elected individuals or soon to be elected individuals are done the same way. And what they do is whoever's in charge of the Secret Service team, they take control. That person who thinks he's running the show doesn't get to run anything. And he doesn't get to control who's on the detail when it comes to the leader of the team. Trump said, wait, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. And they stopped. Excuse me? <laughs> this is an active shooter scene. They don't stop. Ladies and gentlemen, look at how they're not being aggressive. Look at how soft their hands are being wrapped around each other. Look at how they're hesitating, putting their arm around each other. Go ahead. I dare you. I saw it all in real time. As you saw this, I was looking at it. In, I'm not actually looking at the screen while I was playing. I was looking at my camera system at the time that was playing. I was looking at the sunset and everything through the cameras. It's been an interesting day. But to have this right here, hold on now. Let's make sure we, we get it right. We don't, we, 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 we just can't. You can't make this up. How did he get here? He didn't just climb up over, over. Oh, no, he had to come from down here. So that means he had to walk all of this stuff over here. And they didn't notice that? Ladies and gentlemen, it's a secret service. It's, they're a secret service. So that means they hide in secret. That means that they had to have been watching that building. Hold on, wait. <laughs> There's a camera phone pointed at him. But if I'm not mistaken, this says Trump, this is a podium. Why is he pointing that way? Go and watch the film. Why is he pointing that way? Now, this could be a fake video, but I doubt it. I doubt it very seriously. No, I want you to understand, when I was watching the film, if you look, he didn't get hit from behind. He got hit from the side. Go back and look. Well, here's the problem. If he had... <laughs> Man, if this is a real video, if he had shot from here, there's no way in the world he's missing that shot. All I know is... What I heard didn't sound like a rifle. You guys have heard the rifle sound before. Go back and listen to the video. And notice how the videos that you hear, that does not sound like a rifle. Something, something just ain't right. And he got nicked on the ear. Excuse me? That's a pretty good marksman. If they nicked him, pay attention. Do you know how difficult it is to nick somebody's ear? No, no, no. The guy, if he was planning on killing somebody, he just nicked them in the ear? That doesn't make sense. 
So go back, watch the speech. I, I haven't done it. I'm just asking you all to do this. Go back, watch the speech just before it happens, and look to see if there is a pause. If he stops moving for several seconds, not just a few seconds. Remember, he's animated. Trump is animated. When he talks, he's animated. He moves from side to side. His head moves from side to side. He may talk in one direction, but his hands move, his head moves. He is animated. So go ahead and watch just before the shot if there is a pause in his movement. It'll be subtle. You'll be able to see it, but it'll be subtle because the one thing he isn't, he isn't a Will Smith and he isn't a Chris Rock. Okay, so he's not an actor. Well, technically, but yeah, he's not an actor. So go back and watch. And if there is a pause, then we just go, hey, Keith. <laughs> yeah, I know, something ain't right. Yeah, we, we go call Keith Sweat. Because he gonna tell us that something ain't right. And I know he going man, he gonna be singing that for the next fifteen years. What? Because he said something something just ain't right. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a fire near my house and my cameras can pick that up and I am oh Lord <laughs> if you guys could see the camera and the flames and how high the flames are from this fire this fire is on the other side of the mountain from my place in other words it's about 20 miles and it has been growing all day the wind is not blowing if we had Santa Ana winds then yeah I would be back in the same boat and having to move all of these vehicles this time this time I will move all of them but you know, it's just, whew, something, something just ain't right. This is our seventh fire in this area. At least one of them was over 40 miles away. Um, matter of fact, I'm told it was about 68 miles away. But anyway, uh, seventh one. But these flames at night, this stuff is huge. And I thought, you know, sunlight going through the clouds, but... That that ain't sunlight going through no clouds. That's sunlight after the sun has gone down. It's past the horizon, so you can't even see the sun. You can see the light of the sky. Well, anyway, it's very light in that corner. And that corner is, if there was a fire to the west of us, we wouldn't have a way out. Like I said, I don't want to see them shoot. But like I said, here, unless somebody did something with this, why is he speaking there and him the is pointed in that direction hmm oh that's a secret service member oh okay i apologize ladies and gentlemen that's a secret service member that's up there so they already have their guns scoped on the individual who's on the other roof that makes a lot of sense. That's why we have a lot of gear up there. That didn't make any, that told you something, something just ain't right. It just says, so they already, were already pointing their rifles at the shooter and didn't see him getting into position, but then eliminate him within seconds after he fired. Yeah, see, they were already watching him. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Whew, I was going to say, but I want you to pay attention. He got nicked on that ear over there. That means the person has to be over this way because that's his ear. Pay attention. He got nicked on the ear. That means the bullet would have had to travel in a straight line. So that means where he's being shot at from is directly in front. And if he's aiming to nick his ear, you talk about that, that person's good. Because look at his ear as opposed to his head. Okay? Look at his ear as opposed to his head. And he nicked his ear from a distance? Now you talk about, that's marksmanship. That is marksmanship. So I apologize to all of you. Like I said, I haven't watched any of this. I just saw some things that just, it didn't, it wasn't right. So now this right here, okay, I apologize for that. Whew, that's Secret Service. Okay, got the hat on, got the black and everything. And 
I can see that that's another person. That's why they're two tripods. So I got that. But these are marksmen. And they were said to have taken out the other guy. So why did he get off that many shots? Go back and listen. Why did he get off that many shots before he took that and took care of him? When you go back, notice how the people don't run. You guys seen how people panic. Sorry, and, and some of y'all going to get offended. But, I, hey, some of y'all going to get offended. But these are a bunch of Caucasian folks. I'm going to say it like it is. Those in a group panic more than any other group. Don't believe me? Go back and look at footage. They panic. They run. They scream. A lot of screaming. A lot of so-called panicking. But nobody ran. They ducked and covered. Nobody ran. They ducked and covered. Especially everybody around him. So, as I said at the beginning of this video, actors don't need it. Okay? You don't have to be good. They got good benefits. Got good benefits. Now, look. I have purposely made it a point not to say anything that is insightful or anything other than that. All I pointed out was inconsistencies. YouTube is going to get upset. Why are they going to get upset? Because they don't like anyone going against the narrative. What is the narrative? The narrative is if there is a story being populated and propagated, out there in society and the so-called powers that be and the news media well the same thing powers that be in the news media the same powers if they say that's the way it is then we have to agree with them other than that if we disagree we're fake news and whatever propaganda i mean uh, stuff that they're uh, spitting out um whether it's because they drank too much the night before or, you know, whatever, uh, ate something that didn't agree with them, whatever stuff they're spitting out, you're supposed to regurgitate. Okay, you're supposed to do like pigs and dogs, go back and eat it up and then spit it back out and eat it up and spit it back out and keep doing it. I don't, I don't choose to be a part of that arena. See, the unique thing about doing videos and having a platform it's not that you can say whatever the, you want, because that's not what I do. I don't care to say whatever I want to say. It's supposed to be giving people other perspectives. Now, yeah, 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 there are some bad actors out there that can take a story and, whew, man, cause that kind of stupidity. Um, I'm going to end this video, ladies and gentlemen. That's 25 minutes. I got to go. I'm going outside to watch the fire. Oh, no, this thing is big. This thing, this is not no small fire, people. And I'm a little surprised. I'm going to have to go on my phone and look at the app and see where it is and which direction it's headed in. I'm looking at it, and it looks like it's heading downhill and not uphill. But I don't know. And it is uneven terrain. This is in the mountains. Uh, we're surrounded by mountains. So this is in the mountains. And so all I can say is this is about to get interesting. This is, this is what happens when we have a record amount of rain for two years in a row. And then we have a summer to where there is no rain. We had a little drizzle this morning because of the monsoon weather. A little drizzle. And some of the areas where there had been fires got a lot more drizzle than we got. But this one right here... At about 7 o'clock this morning is when it got started, and this one could have been started as a result of lightning strikes because we did have thunder and lightning earlier this morning. And so with that being the case, this one could have been as a result of a lightning strike. And I thought they were going to get a handle on it because they had all of the equipment, all of the helicopters and everything, but this fire, as opposed to the last fire, where they use the water that is less than 15 minutes away from my house. They didn't use that resource. No, they flew water from 
45 miles away. That's right, drove all the way to a lake 45 miles away as opposed to the reservoir that's nearby where an individual has their own private reservoir. They used the last time, put the fire out, lickety split. Well, I guess he didn't feel like, man, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't near my house. I ain't worried about that. And so I guess he decided he wasn't going to lend a hand. Don't know. I wasn't out there watching anything. But I do know I'm about to go out there and watch it now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, got to go.